Gail Viney is here from the Dane County Humane Society with a faceless cat. Oh, no, no. <laughs> here, here we there go. There you are. <laughs> Who is this big oh, guy? Oh, his name is Bert. <laughs> Hi, Bert. And he is a handsome, medium, kind of long-haired orange tabby. Um, we think he's maybe about two, two to three years old. Just looks like a lion. He does. Look at that. He's yeah. fantastic. Oh, he's beautiful. And he came from another shelter that just ran out of space, but he was originally found stray with no identification. And But when he's been at the shelter, look at here. What are you looking at, Bert? I, don't, I, don't I think know. he's looking right into the camera. He is. Too. He's yeah. smart. He's reading the teleprompter. He is. He's looking at him. <laughs> uh, but he, people can't say enough kind things about him. Oh, he, he just is he's that outgoing. Away. Like orange cats are just known for being very cool and very um, just adjust to any situation. He'd be a great family cat. Um, so you don't know how old he is. About a couple years. Age, old. Yeah, two, two to three oh, is what we. I'll think. tell you, he likes being petted. He <laughs> is just like rubbing onto everybody. He loves that head scratch. Yeah, I love the mane. I know he's just a cool looking cat and um, really happy go lucky. So you kind of see his nice demeanor and his yeah, personality. He is a great. You are so handsome. Yeah, he's so he's so handsome. And he was a stray, which which brings up to make sure your animals are identified. Identified, and actually next week is National Pet ID Week, and so what we're doing at Dane County Humane society is we're reducing the the fees on our microchipping services and our personalized ID tag so if you come into the shelter next week starting on the 15th you can get a microchip for your dog or cat for only $15 that's a deal it's a crazy great deal and then you can get a personalized ID tag for five dollars and it's good to have both because mm -hmm. if one gets out the the police or neighbors can look at the tag and otherwise we can scan for a chip so yeah, or any most vets any can, vet, any yeah. yep exactly so it's so important so next week make sure you go out and do that and we're having a great service at the shelter and come and get Bert look at and you know look, it's a good deal now he's looking at himself he, in the monitor he knows how he is to me <laughs> you are just beautiful he's a big guy yeah he's a he's a pretty big size cat but um you know in good shape Let's, you can tell he's just healthy here, get a butt rub that'll, that'll, that'll show you how big show up the whole <laughs> leg right there oh he's getting double size <laughs> he's, a, he's a cool cat and we've got a lot of adults right now that are just really outgoing happy cats so the, now he, is the time he is just great He's a great kitty. This one you can't go wrong. All right, last week. Last week was oh, oh Jules. I couldn't remember. <laughs> and Jules got adopted. We had a lot of calls of people that thought she was really cool. I actually, Mark, I put a hold on her because really? I almost adopted her because she was that cool. But um, she went to a great home. So yay for our little piggy friend, Jules. Probably to a carrot farmer. I hope she, so. she, like your she was munching on those carrots. <laughs> and get this Bert. Oh. Lion King a home. <laughs> Seriously, we shouldn't need a Simba or something. All right. Bert. Good, good luck, Bert. Yeah. Ew, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. Thanks. Go to the website, giveshelter.org, for information on Bert and all the critters available. We'll be right back with a final check your forecast. You are going to like